Uh, hello everyone, I uh, hope you guys are fine and doing well. Welcome to Easy Land. This is Shahrab. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and press the bell icon and share this video with your friends also. So let's get a start. So, guys, today the topic which we are going to talk is about could. Is about the could. What is could? So, guys, simple. Let me have the pen yes so could what is could it is a helping verb could is a helping verb or a model auxiliary verb we can say so we can use the could in past tense we can use could in the present tense simple what is could it's a helping verbs in which tense we can use it we can use it in the past tense we can use it in the present no matter okay so now let's move to the usage so where we can use the could so guys first number one we use in the past when we talk about ability in the past ability in the past suppose she could swim when he could swim when he was teenage so suppose now in the teenage and it is now in the teenage suppose when he is like 90 20 years old he was very good in swimming but now he is old, he cannot swim. So I'm saying that he could swim when he was teenage. It means now he cannot swim, but in the past when he was teenage, he was young, he was strong, and he was so good athletic, he could swim, he could swim. Or suppose she could run so fast in the past. It means now and past. In, in the now, she cannot run fast. She cannot run fast, but in the past tense, she could run very fast. She could run very fast. So we talk about ability in the past. It means in the past, you could do something very better, but now you are old, you cannot do it properly. You cannot do it properly. Clear? Fine. So the next one is about asking or requesting politely about asking and requesting politely when in the present it means i'm talking about now not in the past okay i'm talking about the now and uh, suppose you're asking uh, could you give me your book could you give me your book could i go outside could i go outside but guys remember it is very informal it means we are not using too much but it is true so could you give me your book could i uh, go outside could you help me help me so you're asking you're requesting politely you're requesting politely so this is the second usage so now go to the third usage the third usage guys we use the um, could when suggestion or advice we use for suggestion and advice in present tense we use could for suggestion or advice. Suppose this medicine could cure you. So I'm advising, the doctor is advising for the patient. This medicine could cure you, okay? Or she could help you with English. It is a suggestion, it's an advice. She could help you with English, okay? Or suppose I could teach you better. So it is an advice, it is a suggestion. It means if you study with me, I, I, I'm going to teach you very well. I could teach you better. I could teach you better. So it is a suggestion, it is an advice you are giving for someone in the present tense. So uh, then guys, the fourth one. The fourth one is like what? With if we use in the past tense. Suppose if I had more money, I could visit many places. It is in the past. If I had more money, I could visit it many places. If she studied hard, she could get the first position. If she studied hard, she could get the first position. Or suppose I'm saying that if I, um, if I land, if I land French, I could. I could have I could have a good 
job. A good job. I'm talking about the past. So guys, now let's go. So now let's go to the review. What is could? Could is a helping verb. Helping verb. So it has different usage. We can use them in the past. We can use them in the present. Okay, so what is the first usage of could? So uh, let's divide like this. We can use in the past. We can use in the present. So in the past, where we can use? In the past, when we talk about past ability. Past ability and also with if condition but in the present we use for asking or polite requesting and for uh, the second one is for suggestion suggestion or advice or advice this was the usage of what the usage of good so guys uh, now uh, it is the uh, time for you guys write four examples what you studied today right for examples for that usage of could so and don't forget guys to like subscribe press the bell icon and share these videos with your friends and we will see you inshallah for the upcoming classes thank you so much